Hey you guys, welcome back to Shanghai China. It is Thursday the 5th of March 2020. I'm Andy and I'm here with two of my colleagues, Holland and Cecilia. Hi. Hi, hello. Now we've heard there's a hot pot restaurant near our work that is using um, a, a robot to deliver food because we need to limit contact with people during um, global coronavirus. So we're excited to go check it out. You guys excited? <laughs> yeah, never heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Now we need to verify um, at the door with our health QR codes here and then they'll check our temperatures and let us in. You know, Oh, <laughs> The star attraction here at Pagea Hawker has to be this cute little robot, which automatically takes food directly to the customer's table. This saves on human interaction, which is great during a novel coronavirus outbreak. Thank you, Bye bye. And she's so cute. This is Ling Ling from Chongqing. She's the manager here. Sitan 就提供公筷给他们，然后可以就是自己不用自己吃到嘴里面筷子再去锅里面搅，我们尽量会提供公筷的。然后可能有的客人也会不用，然后我们也会提醒他们的。Okay, I'm really full, so let's quickly get the news out of the way. Uh, yesterday in China, there were 139 new cases of novel coronavirus, as well as 31 uh, deaths reported. Uh, they were all from inside Hubei province. Um, yesterday, Wednesday, no new cases of COVID-19 in Shanghai, but the situation overseas continues to escalate. Uh, there's been panic buying from the United States to Japan to France, uh, where everyone is buying up uh, face masks, toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Uh, a ship called the Grand Princess is being held off the California coast. It was on its way from Hawaii to San Francisco when 11 passengers and 10 crew members started to develop symptoms of novel coronavirus. South Korea have announced their cases are up to 5,766 and 36 have died. So we will keep an eye on the situation internationally, but as I said, it isn't looking great. Uh, but now let's read a comment from a viewer. This one comes from Tobing, who says about yesterday's video, the free gift initiative is really positively heartwarming. Those workers are doing their jobs despite the risk of being infected. And because of that, life and society can go smoothly. Thumbs up for them. Thanks Tobing for your comment. And remember, if you want to leave a comment, please do so. And I may read it on an upcoming episode. But for now, that is it for today. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.